just the most recent, this kind of weird pattern in voting. Um, in particular, uh, Idaho, I don't think balanced out, or, or North Dakota, there were more supporters of Ron Paul than there were total votes gathered for him just at his uh, one of his speeches. But uh, above and beyond that, I went through, in the case of Michigan, every single precinct, and it was kind of strange exactly how uh, uniform the results were to the point where it made me a bit suspicious. So what I got here, Ron Paul, the distribution is almost all between 8 and 12 percent. And we're talking about precinct after precinct after precinct after precinct. How could the results be exactly in line everywhere with a few exceptions of 8 to 12 percent? I mean, these are very small places. There should be more statistical anomalies. Let me take a look here. There are places 14 people out of 124, I think. Yeah, 27 out of 109, 43 out of 1389. It's perfectly symmetric. Now, how do we solve this problem? It's very easy. What you see here um, is that you can say at a given precinct, 800 voters are registered, 200 ballots are actually issued out. Here are the layouts, 63 for Ron Paul, 50 for for Mitt Romney whatsoever, but each candidate has the receipt numbers for your ballots on the list, so it's enumerated by receipt number. Those are posted online, and you claim your receipt number and verify your vote was recorded correctly, and if it wasn't, you call your buddy Frank, who's in your precinct, and you say, hey Frank, check yours out, and if you see a pattern, it can't be fooled cannot be fooled as long as people simply count the ballots. It relies on the posting of each ballot ID online and then you'll never have to worry about voter fraud again. Because precincts will start reporting if the totals don't balance. Thank you, good night and good luck.